It was a beautiful day on Dead Dog, and you are nestled in the gentle bosom of the basement. Ever the hipster, you refuse to play Chess Protector Bubba. Instead, you play Snoot for Loot, the wholesome, fun-for-all game where you patiently crouch next to the basement's chest, and a survivor arrives on scene, boinks the oink, and walks away with a prize. You hoped they would soon arrive since you had a little California chocolat earlier, and you're pretty sure the sounds you're hearing might be your cousin's guinea pig taking a chainsaw to its running wheel. Either that or the cat is slow roasting a beanie baby over an open blowtorch. Good god. You don't know where your roommate buys their chocolate, but you're never eating that shit again. You snap out of your reverie to find a Dwight had come to visit, and before you can squeak out a singular joyful pig sound, you find yourself blinded. You start charging and swinging vaguely in the direction of the chest, but by the time the blind wears off, the chest is already open and the Dwight is gone. For a long moment, you stare blankly at the empty chest behind you, the realization creeping up on you like a spider that's been slowly dropping down from the ceiling, its tiny little legs reaching and pulling a single wisp of hair from behind your headphones. You have no time for arachnophobia, however. It's time for revenge! You storm out of the basement, a fire in your heart that can be quenched by no tums. The Dwight made the mistake of beelining to gallows and you are on your way. You climb the stairs and Dwight vaults, quickly booking it to a pallet. You are on him and you are 99% sure that a solid lunge will connect against him and his goofy ass tie. Unfortunately, a wombo combo of the US education system and whatever the smurf was in that chocolate your roommate gave you results in a pallet slamming against your cranium. You see stars and stripes and the lights flicker into oblivion until you are standing alone in the darkness. You wait, wondering if the electricity went out or if your balls have packed up their bags and taken a trip to a green wonderland and crystalline mountains. Just as you start to think that maybe you just died instead, beams of light appear from the sky. They light one after another upon the sage visages of the snoot of boops present. Snoot of boops past past and the snoot of boops who have yet to pass. A chorus of Leons are moaning in unison from somewhere in the darkness, an odd comfort in the abyss. We have been robbed, said the snoot of boops present. A travesty in the eyes of all pygmies, said the snoot of boops past. Said the snoot of boops who have yet to pass. You hang your head in shame. You are little better than the pigs that bait for boops before slugging the entire lot of survivors. The curtain of judgment raises as you boop each one in reconciliation, as you vow to bring this Dwight to his knees for his heinous crimes. You snap back to reality and the Dwight has once again vanished. No generators had been finished. You assume the survivors either think you have no ed and are furiously rubbing bones in the tall grass, or the entity has granted you justice, purging the trial of all but the guilty. Regardless, you head out. Dwight had moved on to a generator on the street, highlighted by the glowing face of a proud full Bubba Sun. It was the perfect day for a camp out. Dwight sprints away into Maine and you race after him. You may be one of the weakest characters in the game, but time and the watching eyes of the entire killerdom of Weskers are watching you from the sidelines. They too understand the pain of being ignored. Too often a booty is left unswatted or a bone left uncleansed. He is with you in this game of revenge, however long it takes, so long as it is shorter than seven minutes. Dwight is looping like a man bereft of toilet after a spicy buffet of hot pockets. You stick to him, but he's always one step ahead and a little too moist for your comfort. He dives from the balcony and sprints to the basement, the origin of his sin. How appropriate, you think, as the wraith's bell tolls distantly. You pursue him, only to find him approaching the empty chest and gently laying his ill-gotten gains before the chest, and slowly turning and booping your snoot. You find yourself drifting, a snoot euphoria rolling in as you fall back in time like spirit snapping back to her husk. You were standing in the basement those many, many minutes ago, your balls tripping skyward. Dwight crept down slowly, cautiously, and he saw you. He came forward and booped the snoot, staring at you when you stayed crouched, unmoving. After a time, he dropped his flashbang, burning your retinas, and left with his new item. You have him now, dead to rights, yet you hesitate. The boops of past, present, and yet to pass are at your shoulder now, urging you to slug him until the final moment, and then hook him and camp him to the very end like a streaming clown mane. Would it be right? He played by the rules, but your roommate and his godforsaken forbidden delicacy sent you flying into the rafters like an astronaut worm, unable to see the act. You make a decision right then and there. You are a pigmane. The snoot had been booped. The pact 
had been made. You hear the enraged bellow of a skull merchant main screaming something at you in Japanese that they learned from an anime they binge watched last week. You're pretty sure she's screaming cute, but the way she screeched it sounds like she thinks it means something else. No matter. Come Dwight, you roar. Together we will finish these generators and you will emerge victorious. Dwight follows you from the basement, the item still by the chest, a symbol of hopeful collaboration and mutual respect. The generators are pumped. Not a single other survivor was anywhere to be seen on the map, but you can feel the spirit of Bill Mains everywhere giving you the nodders of approval. The gate has been opened and the Dwight lingers there. He gives you one final boop before running off into the sunset. The entity would be disappointed, but your snoot has been satisfied. Thank <laughs> you.